Imagine this. You have a beautiful website for your brand or business. It works perfectly and it's designed exactly how you wanted it to be. But when it comes to your hosting company, you're not too happy with the current plan and you want to move your website to a different hosting company. But the question is, how do you do that? Well, if that sounds like you, make sure you keep watching because in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move your website from its current hosting company to a brand new hosting provider. This process is also called migrating. So we'll be migrating our website that I currently have hosted on GoDaddy to a new hosting on SiteGround. And this is the website that we'll be moving from GoDaddy to SiteGround, yasbsf.com. And I'm just showing you this here that it's currently on GoDaddy. And the domain itself is registered on Google Domains. And if you think about it, a website that's hosted on a web server at its core is made up of a bunch of files and folders, right? What we're trying to do is move our website from one place to another, kind of like moving our files from one folder to another. Sounds simple, right? Because it is. There's some easy methods to do this as well as some more technical methods. Now I know you're a busy person and I want to help you get your website onto your new hosting as soon as possible. So the method I'll show you is a very simple and fast one and it's all done through a WordPress plugin, WP All-in-One Migration. And this is the website we're going to be migrating today. And what I've done is created a brand new website from scratch and installed the Astra theme. Astra is a wonderful theme made by none other than Brainstorm Force. They offer so many different website designs as part of their starter templates. And of course, I've gone with one that's about a pizzeria, about pizza. To be honest, who doesn't love pizza? You know what? If you love pizza and WordPress, go ahead and hit the like button down below and show your love. You guys are my kind of people. Anyway, this is what the website looks like. It's really beautiful. It's got a lot of content. I just wanted to install this template so that we have some content when we transfer our website over. But anyway, that's what it looks like. It's a really beautiful website once again. Right, so now we're gonna go back into our dashboard. And the first thing we're gonna do is install the WP All-in-One Migration Plugin. To do that, go onto the plugins on the left-hand side there. And this will take us into our plugins menu where it will show you all the active plugins on your website. And what we're gonna do now is press the Add New button at the top. And once it loads, we can go ahead on the search bar right here and search for WP All-in-One. And the one we're looking for is this one, the first one right here. We can go ahead and press the Install Now button. And it will proceed to install the plugin onto our WordPress website. And as you can see, it said Installed. Now we're also going to press the Activate button. How the plugin basically works is that it packs up your website into a single file that you can transfer over onto your new WordPress website on your new hosting and basically unpack it to become the exact same website that you started from. Pretty simple and really cool, and it works really well. Okay, so right now, make sure we're on the export setting because we're gonna be packing up this existing website. So what we're gonna do is press export to, and you have a bunch of different options here that you can export to. You can even export it to Dropbox, Google Drive, and a bunch of other cloud storage solutions. What we're gonna do is just export it to a file onto our local computer. And it's gonna check everything, and it's gonna begin packing up your website. And now you can see that the file is ready for us to download, www.yasbsf.com. I'll just press that button to begin downloading it. And that will save onto my local drive. Once that's done, I'm going to go on to SiteGround.com. As you can see here, this is what the SiteGround homepage looks like. Assuming you already have an account, you can go ahead and log in. Alternatively, you can choose whatever hosting provider you want. And just a disclaimer that this method will work no matter what hosting plan you choose. For this current tutorial, I'm just simply using GoDaddy to SiteGround, but it can work with any other hosting plan you want to choose. So I already have a SiteGround login, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be moving my existing domain as well along with my website. So to do so, we're going to go into the Websites tab, and then we're going to click New Website. And from here, It'll give you a few options on setting up your new website. And we already know that we have an existing website and existing domain. So we're going to press select on existing domain. And down here, we're going to enter the name of our domain. So we got yasbsf.com. We're going to press continue. And that's going to load up the next settings. And of course, it gives you a warning saying that you should have access to this domain because this domain is currently registered on Google Domains and not SiteGround itself. And that's fine. We're going to press continue. 
and it does give you an option to migrate your website, but not every hosting plan has this option. So we're just going to continue with start new website and install WordPress. I'm going to press select here, WordPress. And here you can enter your credentials to log into your WordPress dashboard on your brand new website. I'm just going to type in my email address and think of a nice password for yourself. That's eight characters minimum. Awesome. And then you can press continue. And this step is just SiteGround trying to upsell their SiteGround site scanner. We don't need that at the moment. So we're going to just go ahead and press finish. So now it's going to go ahead and create your website. So we'll just wait a few minutes before proceeding. All right, our domain has been created. And what I'm quickly going to do now is point our existing website domain to these new name servers on SiteGround. So I'm going to go into Google Domains and find my domain here, yasbsf.com. I'm going to go into DNS. And this is where you point your domain to the hosting plan that you're using. At the moment, it's still on that GoDaddy name server. So what I'm going to do is change this the ones provided by SiteGround, you see that you have two here. So you grab the first one, copy, come back and replace that first one here. And we're going to grab the second one as well. We're going to copy that and paste it into the second text box here. Once that's done, make sure you hit the save button. And it'll take effect within 48 hours. Sometimes it can take a lot less than that, so just keep checking your website. If you want to learn more about registering a new domain or pointing an existing domain to a new hosting, Make sure you check the links below because we have videos to help you with that as well. And once you do that, it should show you something like this with the dashboard. It looks similar to what we had before, but this is a brand new one with the SiteGround kind of theme already pre-installed. And what we're going to do now is again, go back and install that WP All-in-One migration plugin. And we're going to search for WP All-in-One. And here we are. We're going to press install once again. And we're also going to activate it. Awesome. We can see that on the list here. And we're going to go on the left hand side. And obviously, it looks familiar. It's the same exact plugin we used before. But instead of exporting this time, we're going to go back and press import on the left hand side here. And this is where we're going to be uploading that file we created initially. And we're going to press import from file. And you can proceed to find the file and upload that same file you created. And as you can see here, you can see the progress bar showing you the upload progress for the file. Here we go, 90% and it's all done. So it gives you a warning here. The import process will overwrite your current website, including the data, database, media, plugins, and themes. And that's fine. This website's completely new from scratch. So we're going to press proceed. Now it's going to import all the website content from your previous website. Your site has been imported successfully. Save permalink structures, open a new window, optional review the plugin. So we're going to just click save permalink structure. And once that's done, it's going to log you out because right now it's installed the original website onto your new website. So the first website we started off with this is exactly the same as that website. So we're going to log in, log in with the same credentials as your original WordPress website. And because we opened the permalink settings menu, this is where we're going to land on so and all you have to do is just come down to the bottom and press save changes permalink structure updated and now that should have everything that we had on the original website so if we go ahead and press visit site we should be seeing you guessed it a bunch of pizza the same pizzeria website we had at the start we can see right now is on the new hosting plan and on this website we can type in our domain name it'll tell us where that website is hosted so i'm just going to type in yasbsf Dot com Let's enter and as you can see here you can see that it shows the SiteGround name servers which means that the website we just saw this one right here is hosted on SiteGround now it's the exact same website we saw at the start of the video but rather than being on GoDaddy like we started out with now it's on SiteGround we've managed to migrate our website from our initial hosting company to our new hosting company it's really easy it only took a few steps and that's it guys that's all there is to it and that's all for today's video. If you guys had any trouble or any questions about the process I've taught you in this video, make sure you leave a question down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you got value out of this video, make sure you help us out by subscribing down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our future WordPress tutorials. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Yaz, this is Brainstorm Force and I'll see you in the next one.